I'm suffering the consequences of having a good wine. Right now I can talk to another man. Right now I can fuck with another man. I'm suffering the consequences of having a good jam. That's what, uh, that's what I'm saying. Hey y'all. So I want to I want to do this live. I want to do this live because like a lot of people I want to I want to talk about real, realistics and I want to think. So I'm not kidding when I put this on my daughter. <laughs> there has been how much how many two celebrities two celebrity females they have been hitting me up because everybody is like raving about my my bounce back body like oh your body your body your bounce back your this this and that and what you've been doing i've been seeing now a lot of uh people on social media talking about that i i, I got surgery or some shit like that and it's like with all my three pregnancies I never got surgery after uh, I have a baby. First of all, I'm going to make this very clear. Any doctor that performs surgery after you have a baby, they should be in jail. You got to wait at least six months to do surgery after you give birth. Like, you have, you lose so much blood while you give birth it shouldn't you should never do that not only that your uterus is is retracting so i always want to give you 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 women advice at that because a lot of y'all just think like oh you give birth and and you do surgery any doctor that does that needs to be in fucking prison i love surgery but i do not condone that don't ever be that desperate don't ever be that thirsty is never that serious, sis. Like, wait your six months. But, anyways, like, people talking about this whole bounce back thing with my body. Uh, first thing first, and people be asking me advice. We all have different bodies. We all have different bodies. So, don't ever put pressure on yourself. Me, I'm naturally skinny. And, um... If people that went to school with me and high school with me, I always, I always been too skinny. So my issue always been gaining weight. And to some people be like, oh, um, there ain't no issue with that. We, I, I wish I had that issue. And it's like, when you have that issue, it's not that simple because I hate losing weight. I like to be. My my goal weight is always 145 pounds. Like, I want to be 145. Um, but whatever. But to any of you women that are asking me for advice on, like, how you're to have, like, a bounce back body or whatever the crap. Besides the fact that I got lipo. Um, you know, I, ha- I had lipos before. But... I really do lipos is because I like my shape. It's not to stay slim. It's because I like a nice guitar shape. You know what I'm saying? I like to be... I, nobody's perfect, but I like to be close to perfect. I like to be a video... I like to have a vixen look. But to the women out there that be trying to ask for advice from me, I'm going to tell you this. I wear my faja literally, I'll say about 20 hours a day. I wear my faja 20 hours a day and um, I wear a board with the faja for like eight hours. And the reason why I do the board in the front is so my stomach and my skin could be flat because I'm I'm slim right now, but my skin is a little loose. I want my, my, my skin to retract nicely. I put my faja on because I lose weight fast. And I don't want, and my ass got very, very big again. So once I lose weight fast, I don't want my ass to drop. And I don't want my skin to get extra, extra loose on my stomach and on my back. So I compress myself. Second, for the ones that are having issues losing weight, I know there's like Ozempic right now, but not everybody could use like Ozempic or whatever, whatever the crap. I never take in those Like I said, I actually have issues with gaining weight. But if you're trying to lose weight, 
The healthy way for me is to drink coffee two times a day so it could curve your appetite and keep yourself busy. Keep yourself busy all fucking day. Because if you don't stay busy, you're going to want to eat. So the day before, do a planner, stay busy. By the time it's 4 or 5 p.m., that's when you have your first meal. Like, literally in Paris, it was so hard for me to eat because I was working every single minute. By the time it it was 6 o'clock, I'm like, damn, I haven't really eaten nothing but an apple. So keep yourself busy, keep your mind busy, and that's what's going to help you not want to eat too much so you could lose your weight. Also, um, um, the Stairmasters is such a good workout for you to lose weight or to get your body right or correctly. I started working out like I'll say one week after giving birth. And the reason why this time I worked out so quickly is because I don't know what it was, but this baby was not hard for me at all. Like I get I popped this baby out. Like I have taken shits a little bit harder than the than what I pushed. Like this baby just popped right out. Like it's like I was having a conversation and out of nowhere I, f- I felt like I felt like a little sh- sh- I'm like, damn, yo, I feel like that's my baby head. Next thing you know, my doctor checks my little puss and I'm already 10 centimeters. Like I push I pushed the baby in seven minutes. And when I gave birth, like no lie, in one day I had such a burst of energy. I wanted to conquer the world. But my other pregnancies, it wasn't like that. Like when I gave birth to my son, it took me a minute to like even walk. He was a big head motherfucker. His big head ass literally broke my, my, my pussy, my bones, everything. And my daughter, she teared me. Like, I teared. I had to get stitches with my daughter. So not every pregnancy is the same. And not we don't all have the same bodies. Allow yourself to heal. Once you start feeling like your pelvis is, is fine, I think, like, y'all should start, like, doing cardio. And then three weeks later, like, you could start doing, you know, heavy lift, like liftings and stuff like that. But everybody just been asking me for all these advices and shit. And that's what I want to tell you, ladies. And I hope that shit work. Also, I've been getting massages by Lorality. And one of the reasons why I get massages from her is because I don't want to have fibrosis lines. But um, massages really work. And if some of you ladies can afford massages to mold your body, buy one of those wooden things. It literally costs like $5 on Amazon and just start like, if your arms, you feel like they got big, just <laughs> massage your own self with the, with the wooden cup, massage your back, massage your thighs, massage your, your, your uh, stomach, massage everything. But while you massaging yourself with those wooden wooden cups, you got to put a file on because while you do that, you have you your skin is getting loose. You 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 molding yourself, but your skin is getting loose. Faha is very very important. Putting your faha, putting your waist trainers, putting your board is very important. So, yeah. Also, ladies Let's be kind to each other because I honestly feel like social media, we have gotten in this culture that you guys are doing witch hunts, witch hunts on women. They have BBLs. And I want to say this. I could literally take three hours of my day and look through a hundred profiles and post all you bitches and drag y'all. And I don't give a fuck if y'all talk about bitch, stop fat shaming people, stop Skinny shaming people because I will drag you bitches down. But I don't really want to do that. I don't want to do that. But stop doing that. If somebody decides to get a BBL like me, if I decide to get a, a BBL, it's not because I'm insecure or anything. I just really love the vixen bodies. Like, I love a nice vixen body. 
I love that. It's not because I'm insecure. All my life, I already always knew I had a nice little frame on me. I had six packs at fucking 18 years old. Like, but we need to be more kind with each other. Like, and, and, and it's becoming like a, a natural versus BBL shit. And it's like, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop doing that shit. Because if I stop, dra- start dragging, then I'm wrong. If I start saying, bitch, you look, you look like, you build like a fucking ice maker, then I'm wrong. If I say, bitch, you build like a fucking Chico stick, then I'm wrong. We need to be more kind with each other. Leave me alone. I don't want to, I don't want to say you bitches look like fucking sack of potatoes or none of that shit. Um, y'all always want body positivity when it comes to y'all. If you got three stomachs, y'all want body positivity. Y'all want people to love y'all and accept y'all. If you fucking got, if you fucking built like La Cienega, man skinny with big feet, y'all want body positivity. Y'all want body positivity to all. All right, so be, have body positivity towards me. I'm not bothering nobody. Leave women alone. Y'all, y'all, and, and, and the worst enemies is women to other women. Why do y'all do that shit? Stop tearing other women down. Let people do what they want to do. It's your body. It's your life. It's your money. I bet you if I do a BBL giveaway, I bet you if I pay for 10 bitches BBLs, y'all, y'all, y'all wouldn't have nothing bad to say about BBLs. Leave, a, leave people alone. I'm, and then y'all be like, oh, bitches with BBLs, they think they all that after they pay, after they pay to look like that. And it's like, yo, you barely see bitches with BBLs or them vixens in the comments. Talking shit. We need to stop putting each other down. Dead ass. Seriously, y'all. And also... For people that's like, oh, Cardi, you keep going to the clubs and ain't you supposed to be with your baby? Well, I'll be with my baby all day. I'll be with my baby all day. I need to go out. I'm I'm going through a divorce right now. If I stay home and, 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 and fucking depress myself, that's just going to drive me crazy. That's why I'm working and the weekends I'm going out with my girls. So stop. I don't ever want to go through a fucking postpartum depression ever again. And I'm avoiding that. So, yeah. Yeah, somebody said, we mind our BBO business. Yeah, I never see a bitch with a BBO in the comments talking shit. Oh, yeah, by the way, another thing that I'm doing a lot is, yo, I love soda. I love soda. I'm not really a juice person. I love soda, but I'm not really drinking soda as much as I do. I drink water all day long. The only time that I drink soda is when I feel like I'm I'm getting a headache. So... If, oh, by the way, this is a little trick, guys. If you get a migraine, what if you drink a tight if you drink Tylenols or etc. If you drink it with Coca Cola, it the the medicine will work faster. But I'm not really drinking a lot of a soda. I'm, I I I could go a long time without drinking soda now. Drink water, ladies. You gotta piss all that shit out. So yeah, um, so yeah. Um, damn, I had a time last night. Funk say I use both legs. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something else. So, I'm noticing that the clubs, they're not selling Henny like that anymore. I think that, like, drinking Henny now is, like, the ghetto shit. And I really hate this generation because I'm really a Henny drinker. Like, I'm like I'm like my daddy, bitch. Like, that's why my daddy named my sister Hennessy. 
But I really feel like people that's 30 and over really enjoy Hennessy. And this generation is full of tequila sippers. I hate that. I, why, why, why do y'all like tequila so much? I really try to love and like tequila, but that should be having me sleepy. I need to be up. I need to be up. Don Julio and Repo, the new wave, girl. I can't get in that wave, baby. I need that brown. I need that brown. I like my liquor like I like my men and my bitches. Nice and brown. So I said, get off the Don Julio, like the Julio. No, I do not like no Don Julio, no fucking light liquor. I don't like no light skin liquor. I don't like no light skin liquor. Give me straight Henny. Henny shots will give you back shots. <laughs> nah, but no, no bullshit though. I feel like people like me that's over 30 years old love their, their Henny. Is you fucking young motherfuckers that like that light fucking liquor. You young fucks. Little 20 and some shit ass motherfuckers. And I don't want to see no motherfuckers over 30 acting like y'all don't fucking like uh, Henny and shit. You, if you over 30 and you acting like you don't fucking like Henny, you a fucking lie and you trying to fucking be down with the trend. Because, bitch, you grew up drinking fucking Henny. Bitch, you fucking grew up drinking Fireball, bitch. Stop acting fucking bougie, bitch. Y'all not going to have me out here in the club being the only one that's drinking Henny. I'm sick of you motherfuckers want to act like, hey, I only drink tequila. I only drink tequila. Tequila's whack. That should be having me fucking sleep, bitch. That's why you bitches can't suck dick, cause you bitches, you bitches sucking dick sleepy. Tequila make you fucking sleepy. That shit don't put you on demon time, bitch. Now, Henny, bitch. Henny. <laughs> Henny be weird to me though, because when I start drinking Henny, I be active. I wanna fight. Then I wanna suck it. All right. Somebody said, do you see what Vibe Cartel said about you? Yo, I have to hit a brush him because I want to make the most perfect, beautiful, amazing song with Vibes Cartel. He's really my favorite artist. Like, he's, he's literally my number one artist. Of my favorite, 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 favorite artist. And the whole wild fucking world. Vibes Cartel. He's my favorite, 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 favorite artist. Uh, I have a headache going through up. I'm getting out of here. Everybody got a lot of things to do today.